In this video, we're gonna look at how we can use BCC plus Upres ML inside of a multicam based workflow inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. If you don't know, Upres ML is shipping with Continuum 2024 and uses machine learning in order to upscale your clips. Let's see how we can work with this incredible filter. I have a Premiere Pro sequence here with two clips that were shot in 4K. We'll confirm this by going to the sequence sequence settings to see the frame size and frame rate of our clip. I'll press OK and head over my first clip. And just before I begin to work with Upres, I'm going to go to the settings here and actually change the paused resolution to 1 8, which is a handy trick to get faster updates with Upres. I'll go to my effects panel and I've already done a search for Upres, which I'll find in the image restoration category and apply that to the first clip in my timeline. It will take a few seconds in order to generate the still. I'll press Shift-5 in order to see effect controls. First off, I want to actually bring down the scale of this image to 170% instead of the two times scale by default. Then I'll head to the center value, and I'll set the center position in this case to be 500, and press Return. We can see that that image updates, and just to check the quality of this, I'll change my paused resolution back to full to now see that update and change the sharpening value. In this case, this is high quality footage, so we don't need as much. I'll set this to a value of 10. That's looking pretty good. Let's move on to the second clip in our timeline. I'll move to the second clip and repeat the steps of going to my effects panel, selecting the second clip, adding BCC plus upres to it. After taking a little while to update, we now have our upres image. I'll change the center position to 400 on the Y axis, and I'm happy with the framing of that shot. Let me now move over the first clip and press X to mark it with that video track selected. And if you press Command M or Control M, we can export this from Premiere Pro. So we'll call this angle to resized as an MOV file, Apple ProRes. Once that's finished, let's choose export. Now, once that's finished, I'll repeat the steps with my second clip. Keep in mind that we could also use Adobe Media Encoder to batch these two at once. Okay, I've just successfully exported both Upres clips. Now let's bring them inside of Premiere Pro and create a multicam clip from them. Inside my project panel, I'm gonna double click, and here are my two resized angles. And here are the original angles. What I'm gonna do is click and then command click each one of these. So all four of them are selected in the project panel. Let's right click and choose to create a multi-camera source sequence. Now, what we'd like to do is use audio in order to drive the creation of this multi-camera sync. We'll call this multi-cam upres. And after it's finished creating this source clip, we're gonna move all of the clips that it uses to do so into a processed clips bin. I'll press okay to accept this. Here are all four clips inside the process clips bin and our new multi-camera clip, which will drag into a sequence. And in order to see the components and angles, I have a button down here called toggle multi-camera view. And if you don't see this, you can click the plus icon in the button editor in order to add it to your buttons. If I move my play a little bit further, I've got my original establishing shot here, but also a closer version in 4K, and then two shots for my side angle. And that's how we can use BCC plus Upres ML inside of Premiere Pro for multi-camera workflows, where we'll actually have more angles and shot choices from our original clips. Keep in mind that you can repeat this workflow inside of Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, any host that supports Continuum. For more tips and tricks just like this, don't forget to subscribe and check us out at borisfx.com including new videos on Continuum 2024 and the incredible audio visualizer. See you next time.